What's up, everybody? It's Ron Gabriel back here and again, and we're on a live we're live streaming the uh, mm. new Kyoshin character. I don't have him, but oh, oh, how much does he cost? Seven ninety nine. Seven ninety nine for the new Kyoshin hero. Okay. One second. <clears throat> okay. So. God, that bird was gross as fuck. So. Let's see if Shinobi's rework got implemented. No, it didn't. Okay. So, here's the thing we are gonna be doing. We're gonna go into a Kiro Tactics match. And I'm gonna try out the new character. Now, I am hoping that he's at least decent. I am hoping he's at least a viable character. Okay, so... Hey, I basically did it. Shut the fuck up. So it's like a... How much stamina does that take? So the first light does 12 and then the rest are 6. So basically if you're running well on stamina, you don't want to do like multiple of them. Like, say you're on low health, well, not low health, low stamina. You don't want to end up doing this and then going. You want to go. Kind of like that. Oh, wait a minute, that's still the same amount of stamina taken from you. So basically, if you try to get... So you can cancel that with a heavy and chain into it. That is interesting, actually. Okay. Okay. I like these mix-ups. Wait. Oh. So you, you can't option select it. Oh, fuck. So basically, you cannot change your guard for that next attack. So you end up being completely fucked. Damn it. That got my blood up. So basically, if somebody's smart enough, they can just bury your attack. Can you... No, you can't. 
thick. So he can't dodge out of his all block. Like Nobushi can. He has to wait for the animation to finish. So that's the one downside of playing him. You can end up throwing him out with that one. Cool. Cool. So. That combo right there does um, 24 plus 12. 38 damage. That is 38 damage in a hole. And that just does 12. Ooh, that's just 24. So basically, for something that is very difficult to parry, like a light, especially on console, that is really over fucking power. You call that that right? is scary how powerful that is. I. I mean. I'm really good with Nobushi, but I think against this character, I might be fucked. Because... Oh, no. What's the window time? So that startup might be uh, guard breakable. This is going to be fun. What about the startup for? So that one instantly goes for up top. So basically, if you're versing a person that likes to throw that likes to throw out the unblockable attack for the heavy. Then just guard break up top. Unless he faints it and uh, parries you. That is the part that will probably fuck you up. But when he goes for the. If you're versing a light spammer that plays this character, the attack always comes from that side. So you be able to parry from that side every single time he does that. And you'd be able to get a free, a free heavy. Huh. That is actually interesting. That is really interesting. Because I would have never fucking guessed that the unblock. Huh. So now he's a lot more predictable. Now that I think of it, he's a very predictable character. Because if you're one of those people like me that will, like, they will watch their opponent fight in order to understand what they're going to throw next. So, How I've missed you. if you think of it this way, they're going to be throwing out attacks that you know how they, like, if you know how your opponent thinks, if you've been watching them for the first match and you know how they play this character, 
if they end up throwing out a light, it'll always come out on your left side. So basically, when that happens, do not try to attack him out of that area. Don't even guard break him. Just wait for him Warrior, to throw an attack. Because if you know him enough, he might throw a guard break small in this that attacks from this side. So you'd be on your right. But the thing is, a smart person, or smart-ish, would go for a light. Because a light, 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 and a heavy, that gives you 38 damage. Oh my god. But the thing is, if you just, you just parry the light, just parry the fucking light. That is all you have to do. <laughs> this dude is such a simple character to fight. <laughs> what the hell? What were the developers thinking? Yeah, so we're just gonna set, like, specified points to where the attack's gonna come out. You know, they throw a heavy, goes up top. They throw a light in this dance, goes to the... Goes to your right. And if they throw a zone, now a zone... Goes to your left. Why would you do that? Why would you specifically have an area specified to throw the attack? It just baffles me. Because you have, like, oh, you have a guard thing for a reason. It's so you can switch where your attack's going to come from. But the fact that they are just doing this. Like, I will try. Look, I will try to throw the attack to the right. Nothing. Nothing happens. I'll try to throw the attack to the left. Nothing happens. There is a problem there. <laughs> there is a massive problem. <laughs> now I throw the light. <laughs> Goes to the only one place. I try to throw the light towards the. I try to throw the light towards the left of me. Goes right there. Do you see the problem? <laughs> this guy is. Oh, he's a funny character. He is a funny character. Like, if you're playing this guy, you have to hope that you're playing against somebody that doesn't know how to parry. Or doesn't know how this character works. Because in the case of that, that's viable. Or that. That is even more viable. Developers! <laughs> Why did you do this? Oh, I know, never mind. It doesn't do damage. That's stamina. That gets rid of 32 stamina. Well, not 32. 38 stamina. There is a problem there. If it's getting rid of 38 stamina from you. Now, the damage is pretty fucking mediocre. 26 26 damage for an attack that can really fuck you up where'd the bot go? oh right there now let's see what the top unblockable does 15 damage 15 damage you're better off just fucking light spamming than that shit. 
Well, let's see how much we get from this. So the final light is eight. So if I know math, which I'm bad at, 15 plus eight would be Why? It, 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 damage in total is 25. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I can just... I can just do that. I didn't just do that! <laughs> I'll feed you to the wolves. This game. This game. Alright. Please tell me the zone does a lot more damage. It does less damage than the light and the heavy! this game for a while <laughs> I appreciate the effort for the character but why would you do this why would you think this character was a good idea all the d <laughs> the damage values are all over the place uh... All right, I'm just gonna end my stream here. I'll I'll turn this into a clip and post and upload it to YouTube later. But oh my god, <laughs> this character! Like <laughs> you got the knights, the new characters. You got. War Mommy, which is a really strong character. And then you got Bullshit, which is a really overpowered character that they don't know how to nerf. Well fought. Well fought. And then you got Kyoshin. You got this guy for Samurai. Can I get Knight Bias? Like, <laughs> uh, God, I'm done with it. I'm done with it all. This is, this character is so god awful. Warriors, both of you. I mean, if you, if, if you. <laughs> Makes me want to cry because of how bad this character can be. Send the enemy a gift. Like, no joke, this guy wouldn't even be overpowered because he's predictable. <laughs> like, console players are gonna have a fucking hay with this. Oh, God. This guy is legit just anti-light spam. He doesn't light spam one bit. He doesn't even light spam good. Like... <laughs> watch, watch his light. Nice. 
That is so god awful at speed. I play PK, I play Nobushi, and I play Orochi, and I play a bunch of other assassin characters. But this shit. <laughs> this shit. <laughs> Kensei has better light speed than this. That is how bad it is. Kensei has better light speed. And not light speed as in, you know, Star Wars and all. This light speed is god awful. <laughs> okay, let's go for the top of Buffalo, guys. Easily parryable, because that's the only place it goes. Only place a heavy goes. Let's go for the light, guys. Only goes there. Legit there. Let's go for the zone. Only there. Ubisoft. Do you see the problem? Can light spam because if somebody's smart enough and they know where the attack goes for the light, they will be able to parry that on reaction. Well, not really reaction, but prediction. Because if you light spam, it goes to the same place, <laughs> the same exact place. I love For Honor to Death, but, <laughs> you know, maybe this character wasn't a good idea. <laughs> maybe they should have gave him, like, guard switching when he goes into his stance, but maybe it wasn't a good idea to do this, or this, or this. <laughs> But I mean, I know he's a mixed up character. But sometimes that just isn't enough. Because how are you supposed to mix up somebody when this is the attack you throw? Goes to the same place every single fucking time. Goodbye. Uh, this is the end of the live stream. Oh, God. Hi. So, thanks for watching the entire video if you made it to this point. So, basically, I just wanted to say, uh, he, he's a good mix up character. He is a good mix up character. He is just not good in the sense of fighting. He has multiple attacks, multiple ways to attack, multiple things to attack. But he is just predictable. So if anybody has anything to say about it, just want you to know, I am slightly correct. I may not be fully correct, but I'm slightly correct on the fact that his full block stance is complete ass, so... Yeah, any attack out full block is just shit. So have a nice rest of your day. Bye.